the teams that wasn't there okay. and their management. But you have to realize this league started with, um, I think, eight, nine teams or whatever, and the league finished with four. So okay. four had to play four. Okay, okay. You see, so uh, six or six, three and two. Can't help it, it other teams four right. teams left in the league, and the four teams had to meet. That's right. And Somebody uh, had to win, somebody so had to lose. When they come up to me with it, I, I just look at them, you know what I'm saying, and keep on going because after the end of the day, we got that ring. Gonna be having them on. You see, we got that ring. Talking to the cheerleader right here, Miss Shania. You was here all season too, Shania. Uh, so you seen the ups and downs of, of the season. Talk about that. Well, the ups and downs of the season, it, it it hurt, but at the same time it helped because it showed who really wanted to be out there on the field and it showed what players would be key players and it showed how everyone could take a leadership role and fulfill the other positions that people decided that they didn't need to fulfill. So you're a cheerleader, not supposed to know anything about football. But you were sitting back in the in the back, and you was watching all this, watching different players step up in different roles. Mm -hmm. So at any point in time, did you think the Cardinals were possibly going to make it to the championship? I did, because when you have offensive players playing defense and it was a good turnout, then that means you can do anything. If it's possible, if you set your mind to it, you can do it. So coming in next year, you know they're going to have a lot of players. You're young. Mm -hmm. You know about people jumping on the bandwagon. What message would you have to send to the people that's going to jump on the bandwagon? If you're going to jump on and jump right back off, stay off. All right, then. Young Buck, she looks like she's been listening to you just a little bit too much. Buck, talk about it real quick now. Like you say, the offensive line, you can tell they, they made a change the past six games of the season. Yeah. You play a little bit of tight end. You're on the offensive line and everything. Talk about what went on in the practices and everything. Well, the one thing that we did, man, I used to always say, man, turn your emotions off and turn your heart on. Okay, and talk, what that, what does that mean for, for my audience that don't all, know, like all, me? All the, the me, 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 and how I feel and how I think things ought to go, turn it off, man. Let's stick together and do what we got to do, man, to get this done. Okay, okay, so y'all got it done. You, you won the Super Bowl, and now y'all got a calm spirit. It's like y'all are relaxed. <laughs> it's like y'all been working for it. It's calm. Mm -hmm. Next year, yeah. how do we repeat? What do we have to do right now to start repeating for next year? Because Chris said a little while ago, mm -hmm. we're at the top of the mountain looking down. Right. Everybody's coming at us. Well, you know, people are ready. They, they, they ready to come at us right now. Right. You know, I'm sure they're getting ready. They start working hard, so we got to work even harder next year. And like I think it was Rudy said, we got to practice, 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 man. Be real about it. Work out. Get stronger. Get faster. You know, I played a whole two years, man. Uh, <laughs> Are you coming back next year, Buck? Uh, it depends on man, how I rehab, man. I, okay. I, I want to be back. Uh, so you might be co coaching too. Yeah, yeah, I will be coaching. I, uh, if I can't, if I can't play, man, if I can't get these shoulders right, I'll probably be coaching. Wow, too, we got a question coming yeah. at you, Chris. That's <laughs> two big pivotal key players yeah, I, that made. I, man, I don't, I don't work what two years, man. Two years, I haven't lifted a weight because I couldn't. Okay. I just I was on the field just being an athlete, just playing okay. out natural ability, man. Just God giving talent. Way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's all I was doing the whole those whole two years, man. How can the Cardinals as an organization get better? What can we improve on? Because everybody's got some stepping up and some improvement to do. What can we improve on as a Cardinals organization? Man, I'm gonna put it like this here, man. The coaching is there, the athleticism is there. It's just consistency and faithfulness in players. In players. Yeah. So through it all, the players are going to make the organization right. what it is. Because like exactly. you say, the coaching is there, the leadership is there. You just got to have some guys willing to follow and believe. Steve, That's talk it. about that. You being an offensive coach, how, how can we get better? I mean, Buck just said we got to have consistency in our players. How can we make our players consistent? I think <clears throat> consistency comes with – uh, a lot of listening. Okay. If you're a good listener, and and you do the things that you need to do that that are that are spoken upon you, then that makes for a good good consistency. If okay. You're okay. So as a Cardinals organization, you being an offensive coach, how are you going to improve as a listener? I know uh, you call the shots, but you got to be able to listen. Oh yeah. To lead. I, I'm I'm a very good listener, man. When it comes to listening, uh. I ain't talking about to your woman, Steve. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I always, I always listen. I, I have to say, I, I'm a very good listener because uh, we've been through a lot this season. Mm -hmm. And uh, and how did that make you feel with some of the players that 
so said they were ride or die because I interviewed over 60, 70 players at the beginning of the season and said ride or die, say it was all about family. And like Chris said, we down to 38. Well, you know, it's like this. Uh, we put our pants on the same way. We get up every morning, you know, one leg at a time. You have to deal with the 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 the, the calls you make in your life. Okay. So if if it's something that that's getting under you and you don't you don't speak about it or you don't uh, communicate. Okay. Communication is always big. You know, if, if you don't communicate, then and, and you just up and leave, then that's on you. So communication is the key to life from. A kid. Yeah, exactly. High school, college, and even in this in this position, communication yes. is a, a key in life. So if you got a brother or a teammate on your team that's not willing to come talk to you, do you really want him as a teammate? If he's just willing to get up and leave. No, that's that that's not somebody that you would want to have as a teammate. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't turn him off as a friend. Right. But somebody to go to war with, that's not somebody you want on your side. Interesting conversation. We're finna come right back, ladies and gentlemen, with my man, Mr. Chris Borkins and Tracy. It's gonna be an interesting conversation.